Hi folks, in this video uh, we're going to look at something called first and second differences. You may have heard about it in your own math class. We're just going to clarify what it means right here. Um, in the end, we're going to be asking the question, is it actually a parabola? Um, a parabola is that shape that looks like this or like this generally. and um, we're going to be able to identify whether or not an equation, here's an equation right here, here's another one right here, we're going to be able to identify if these are parabolas or not. And You may already know just by looking at these equations which ones are parabolas or not, but I guess the goal here is, is to say what are first and second differences. So first differences are what we're going to use to find out if it's a straight line, and a second, the second difference is what we're going to use to find out if it's a parabola. Or another word for parabola, the type of equation it would be is called a quadratic. There's the word quadratic right there. Um, if you look at this equation here, you can see that, well, I, c I could rewrite it right here, I won't. 2x plus 1, y equals 2x plus 1. The maximum exponent, well, there's an exponent, an invisible one, and it is right there. The maximum exponent is 1, and over here the maximum exponent is 2. Anyway, um, when you're doing a table of values, which is what this is right here, you can pick whatever numbers you want for x, okay? So I'm going to pick uh, numbers like uh, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, and 3. And I'll do that for both of these tables of values here. And a table of values is when we take each one of these and we plug it into this equation right here. I'm going to be doing it kind of quickly so this video doesn't take forever. Um, so I'll be doing it verbally instead of writing it all out. So hopefully you can follow along. Now 2x means 2 times x. So instead of x, I'm going to substitute in this negative 2. So 2 times negative 2 is negative 4, and negative 4 plus 1 is negative 3. I'm going to keep going. 2 times negative 1 is negative 2, negative 2 plus 1 is negative 1. Uh, 0 times 2 is just 0, and 0 plus 1 is 1. 2 times 1 is 1, 1 plus, or, sorry, 2 times 1 is 2, and 2 plus 1 is 3. Um, 2 times 2 is 4, 4 plus 1 is 5, and the last one, 2 times 3 is 6, 6 plus 1 is 7. Now, first differences are when you start at the bottom here, and you subtract, moving upwards. So you're going to go 7 minus 5, and you get 2. 5 minus 3, 2. 3 minus 1, 1, careful, 1 minus negative 1. Remember, two negatives makes a positive, okay? It's like saying 1 plus 1. 1 minus negative 1 is still 2. And negative 1 minus negative 3 is still 2. Try it on a calculator if you don't believe me. These numbers are all the same here, so that means this thing is linear. It's a straight line, okay? And we can stop. There's no need to do what we call second differences. As you can guess, look at the next table of values. We're going to do this, and we're probably going to need to keep going and do what's called the second differences, which is what this video is about. Um, so let's start by plugging in these numbers into the equation up above. So negative 2, if you put that where the x is, just you can put it in brackets if you like, negative 2 squared. That's like saying negative 2 times negative 2. So be careful with the signs. The answer is actually positive, positive 4. Negative 1 times negative 1 is 1. 0 times 0 is 0. 1 times 1 is 1. 2 times 2 is 4. 3 times 3 is 9. Notice there's a little bit of a repeat going on here. See that 4, 1, 0, and then 0, 1, 4. It's kind of like a mirror reflection going on. There's a really good chance this is a parabola. So let's start with our first differences. 9 minus 4, start at the bottom. 9 minus 4 and work our way up is 5. 4 minus 1 is 3. 1 minus 0 is 1. 0 minus 1 is negative 1, and 1 minus 4 is negative 3. These numbers are not the same, therefore this is not a linear equation. 
Let's do the second differences. All you do is repeat exactly what we did here. And this is kind of cool. We're going to start at the bottom and we're going to work our way up. 5 minus 3 is 2. 3 minus 1, ooh, interesting. It's also 2. 1 minus negative 1 is 2. And negative 1 minus negative 3 is also 2. Because the second differences are all the same, um, that means that this thing is a parabola, okay? And by the way, just so you know, if the second differences are positive, that means the parabola is opening upwards like this one, okay? If these second differences were negative, it would have been opening downwards, okay? Just, just a little side note. Okay, let's do, I think, just one more question together. Just, and uh, hopefully, this one's a little more complicated, but hopefully it will help explain how to do these things. Let's use the same numbers we were using before. Okay, remember, we're allowed to choose what numbers in a table of values. For the x values, we're allowed to choose, and the y values are going to depend on what we put in for x. This one's a little tougher. So I'm going to take negative 2 and plug it in where the x is. So that's like saying, negative 2 times negative 2, you get 4. 4 times negative 2, and I'll, maybe, I should, maybe I should write it out here. Here's the equation, and instead of putting an x, I'm going to put a bracket, because some of you might not like that I'm just doing this so verbally instead of actually writing it out. So what I'm going to do is plug in negative 2 into this, into these brackets, okay? I'm basically putting it where the x is, and it's not that clear, I suppose. Hmm. I'll try to use, I don't know if you can see that. I'm just plugging in the negative 2 where the brackets are now. So this is how we do it, using bed mass. Negative 2 squared is 4. 4 times negative 2 is negative 8. And negative 4 times negative 2 is positive 8. And this 4 just goes right on the end each time. Okay, so these two cancel and we're left with 4 right here. So I'm going to backpedal and just remember I said 4, okay? There it is. Let's do the next one. Negative 1 and negative 1. Negative 1 squared is 1. 1 times negative 2 is negative 2. These two multiplied make positive 4 and here is positive 4. So 8 minus 2 is 6. Let's do the next one. Whoops, I shouldn't have written written the 6 in there. I'll just remember it was 6. The 0 I'm not even going to put here because 0 times anything is 0 and then again 0 and we're left with the 4. Interesting. Now we have 1. If we put a 1 here, it's... there we go. Well this part here is 1 times 1 is 1 times negative 2 is negative 2. This times this is negative 4 and plus 4. So these two cancel. We're left with negative 2 here. Whoops. And again, I wrote the negative 2 too quickly. Bad pun. Here we go. Let's put the 2 in here and here. We're at the 2 now. 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times negative 2 is negative 8. Multiply these two together. You get negative 8 again. Let's just make sure. Good and good. Plus 4. So that's negative 16 plus 4 is negative 12. This time I'm going to erase this first, then I'm going to write negative 12. One more. We're going to plug the 3 in here and here. 3 squared is 9. 9 times negative 2 is negative 18. 9 times negative 2 is negative 18. This times this is negative 12 plus 4. So negative 18 and negative 12 will make negative 30. And negative 30 plus 4 is negative 26. Let's get rid of all this. Whoops. I said negative 26. I hope I did. Now, we're at the point where we can do first and second differences. So let's start subtracting here. You can take a calculator if you like, just to make it quick. And I'm going to type in the 26 and make it negative and subtract, be careful, it's subtracting a negative, which is like saying plus 12. So you're going minus negative 12. So minus negative 12. Okay? You get negative 14. Right there. 
The rest we, I think we can do in our head quickly here. Negative 12 minus negative 2, that's like saying negative 12 plus 2 is negative 10. Negative 2 minus 4 is negative 6. 4 minus 6 is negative 2. You can stop any time to pause and make sure I'm doing this correctly. I hope I am. 6 minus 4, well that one's easier. That one's just 2. So far, we can see this is not a straight line. Let's try the second differences. Negative 14 minus negative 10 is like saying negative 14 plus 10. So we're left with negative 4. Negative 10 minus negative 6, you can verify with me, but it's going to be negative 4. Negative 6 minus negative 2, yay. And negative 2 minus 2 is negative 4. This happens to be the same every time. Notice it's negative. It's going to be a parabola opening down because of the negative 4. Because, of, because it's negative, you know it's going to be a negative parabola opening downwards. And we know it's a parabola because all of these numbers are the same. That is what a second difference is. I hope it's very clear to you now that that is the case. And hopefully in the process you also know what first differences are because that was something you probably learned in the past. Right on. And if you said to yourself, if you had y equals x cubed, does that mean there's something called third differences? I believe that is the case, but we're not doing that in this video. Hope you have a good day, and I hope this hasn't been too long. Take care, everyone.